guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do another beauty chat video and I'm here with Anna. Hello! And we tweeted last night to ask you guys for some questions and there were so many. So many, so many good ones. So many good ones. So we're going to make this an extra long version. Instead of five questions, we're going to do ten. What? So, question one from Attic Zahir. What makeup tips for mummies on a school run? I usually have two minutes. Two minutes. I'm quite good at getting quick. You are. Like, ready really quickly. So I would say concealer number one, mascara, and then something like a little perky on the lips, like the Revlon, just bit in kissable balm stain in the shade Love Sick. Loving this at the moment. Yeah, I was gonna say concealer, mascara, and blusher, because I think the little color to the cheeks is nice. And my sister's a mum, so I know that you could do that quite quickly. But if you get eyelash extensions, then you have time for a bit of lip color. Oh, I, yeah, that's true, eyelash extensions. Yeah. Brow threading, yeah, you basically exactly. need nothing. <laughs> I like your extensions are amazing because they stay curled as well, you just don't oh, need to mascara good. at all. Lisa D said, is there any area of makeup you feel you have yet to master or just can't get the hang of? Yes. What's yours? Eyeliner. Oh I'm, yeah. I'm getting there. I'm really getting there with eyeliner and now I wear it more on a daily-ish basis and I'm finding that coal pencils are just the way to go. They're the easiest to apply, the easiest to blend. If you make mistakes, it's very easy to correct. Um, but I, I'm not sure if I'll ever get it. You I will. will. <laughs> Practice. I think for me, I was thinking about this one, I think for mine's concealer, which is a bit of a weird really? one. But I tend to just get my concealer and go, I put loads on, put it all over <laughs> and I kind of blend it in. And then I watch like Lisa Eldridge's video and I'm like, oh yeah, there's actually like a trick to it. Mm. I think like layering and less is more and pinpoint concealing and I'm just a bit like, rushed, I kind of just put it everywhere and it ends up looking a little bit heavy in places, so that's something I could definitely do better at. Pinpoint concealing. Yeah, I always have try. Patience. I've got one on my forehead right now and I was like, I'm going to get my Laura Mercier secret mm. camouflage and dot it on. And in fact, I just got this like concealer on and was like, yeah. doing that. I always put way more on an area than I need it, but it's quicker. Bellu says, best long lasting foundation? I have two. I think... Good old yeah. Armani, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk is just awesome. It just clings for days. It's great. In a good way. In a good way. But recently I've been loving this. Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I have the shade 125. It's what I'm wearing today. And actually it's really long lasting. I'd say it's a bit more matte than other ones like that I'd normally go for. But it really does look pretty amazing on I've never tried camera it. and stuff. I, I like it. I would like to. Funky packaging. Yeah, it's like had a spill inside. All well, that, that doesn't please me. <laughs> My one, I would normally say the Armani one as well, but within the last week I've absolutely fallen in love with a new foundation. Is this, this the one? This is the one, I told you about yesterday. This is the RMK Creamy Foundation, and it comes in a pot, so normally I would just be like, no, no way, but it's amazing. It's, Can I have a look? Yeah, it's medium to full coverage, so it's a little bit like more coverage than I would normally use, but I'm wearing it today, and I've been wearing it all week. And it has this, amazing. you only need a tiny amount, and it just kind of like, blends into your skin and it's amazing and it's there but at the end of the day I look in the mirror and I still have the same like foundation which is really rare for me because normally it just kind of disappears. You are making me want to try this It's so, so good, I really want you to try it. You okay. said like tiniest amount, it's so like pigmented. It's, it's amazing. Maybe I, I it. could I scoop a little bit out and yeah. put it in like a pot or something. Definitely. Okay. Francesca asks, if you would have the opportunity to design a lipstick, what would it look like and what name? I'm like covering She's up. She's covering my... up her answer. <laughs> okay, so I was thinking about this in the shower while I was getting ready for this. And I was thinking a really hot, like orangey red. Yeah, I knew you'd say that. Kind, yeah, kind of like NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in red square. I feel like it would be down that avenue. And then I thought of this name and I think I would call it this is the best question. <laughs> I, think I, I love call this it. question. Vava Vivi. <laughs> so instead of like Vava Boom, like Vava Vivi. Like, like it. Packaging? Oh, I don't know. Black. Very simple, chic. But it'd be very matte. I know that. It'd be a very matte lipstick. Yeah. What about you? Okay. Oh my god, yeah, have you bought like a, a, a draft? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> a project. <laughs> okay, so colour wise. I think if I was going to make my own lipstick, I'd want to be able to wear it all the time. So I'd want it to yeah. be like an everyday lipstick. So I think mine would be a mix of patisserie and syrup from MAC. So that's patisserie, and then that's syrup. And they're like Perfectly. my two favourite, like, neutrally ones. I think I'm wearing Ooh. them both on my lips today. So it's like a nice everyday, easy to wear colour. That's what colour I'd go for. Okay, and the name? The name? I, I don't know <laughs> what exact name, but I don't think any other, like, lipstick brand. They always, like, pick, like, either... No, you know, the, all the typical yeah. stuff. 
I think it'd be funny to name lipstick after like emotions and feelings. So you can have like pissed off, <laughs> jealous. <laughs> this is pissed like, off pink. <laughs> I thought happy. <laughs> Are. You could have so many different, you could have like envy. I yeah. think that's quite a good idea. Yeah, no, one, like no one nick it. And then packaging wise, the same like black. I love yeah. Chanel lipsticks, um, but I wouldn't have the gold bit and I would have like a really simple logo that you can't even really tell it's a logo. Definitely glossy. I hate matte because it oh, gets dirty. Oh, I was dirty. just about to say the NARS lipstick is so quite dirty. I like these because they're quite thin. Oh, another thing about the packaging. <laughs> As you can tell, I did like a creative course yeah. at uni. Um, I wouldn't have a lid. I think it's annoying when you have to hold the lid in your hand while putting on lipsticks. I'd make a way so you can like press up something and it like pops out the other end, or just like not have or a like lid. Like a flip. Or like sometimes case. you know you go like that and it like comes up. Oh yeah, they're quite cool. I'd make ones. a way of not having to have a lid separate. That would be my mm. lipstick. I kind of want to see these. <laughs> Someone mock it up for us, please. <laughs> Sophie asked, "Is there any products you've bought or received lately that you think are overrated?" This one is kind of not necessarily lately, but in the last like few months. The Bumble and Bumble City Swept Finish. So excited about this. I always love Bumble and Bumble releases. Anything that's to do with big hair from them is awesome in my eyes. But this, I just didn't really feel it. To me, it was a bit too gel-like in consistency. It was a bit too tacky in my hair. And I prefer thickening products to be more matte. Yeah, I quite liked it, but I definitely prefer the dry spun finish. Dry spun finish, yeah, all over that. My one, which you're gonna get really upset about. No, you, you like, always do this. You always disagree about products. It's good, it's good that we like doing yeah. that. And everything. Anyway, mine is the oh, Clarins yeah. Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. I think Clarins is amazing for tanning, and it's I don't good. think this is terrible at all. It's just not what I hoped it would be. It's basically a little kind of tanning solution that you put a few drops into your moisturizer, and you can make any moisturizer into like your tanning moisturizer. And I think it's a genius idea, but I just found this kind of didn't look that great on me. It kind of collected around my nose and chin and just didn't look as natural as the liquid one. Was yeah. it called? Like liquid gold no. Liquid gold. <laughs> liquid gold. It's like a liquid bronzer. I think it's just called it's liquid tanning. Yeah, I love that one and I just didn't prefer this. I didn't yeah. like it as much. I understand. Okay. It's okay. We can still be fine. Good, good. Fu said you get to meet your A-list crush. Describe <laughs> the makeup you'd go for. Okay, so mine would be Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Gosling. <laughs> And I feel like I would keep it quite natural because I'd want Ryan to like me for me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. I don't really have an A-list crush, but what? when I when I first read this question, I just thought like Justin Timberlake came to my head. Oh, so yeah, he's, yeah, let's he's go with him because well. I love him. And he's with Jessica Biel, right? Yeah. So I did a bit of Googling on what Jessica Biel's makeup looks <laughs> like. I thought this is a good, like, Rose girl, and he obviously likes the way she looks. She has very glowy, natural makeup. Yeah. But she's got quite a golden goddess eyeshadow There's thing going on. There's always kind of a bit of, like, a heavy, heavy flutter yeah. in the eyes. She's definitely got, like, a natural it. lip. I think he likes natural girls. Yeah. Um, and I would woo him. You'd put your research into that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Math72 says, how about makeup shopping tips? I'm not sure about this one. I feel like I want to hear your answer first. Okay, so in the drugstore, I think it's different drugstore and high-end shopping for makeup. Yeah. So in the drugstore, I would say when you're trying foundation, try it um, on your chin and neck and then go outside to natural daylight to have a look in a mirror because those lights yeah. and boots and Superdrug are not good. Yeah, I think that's a good one. I was thinking more along the lines of whenever I go beauty shopping, I get a basket, I fill it up and I have a great time. And then before I actually get to the till, I always have a bit of a moment and I think, do I really need this? And I try and look and I see if I've got dupes among my stash already at home. Yeah. And I'll kind of have a quick little, do I really need this moment and just check myself, you know? Yeah. Don't be afraid as well to ask if the product you want isn't out. Don't be afraid to ask someone if they've got any in the drawers underneath or if no one's there to help you. Just have a look because you're just, the one buying the product the in the end. Oh yeah, I do love the drawers. They're taking your money, so yeah. go for it. And then high end, which I think is quite a different thing. Like when you're buying foundation, don't be afraid to ask for a sample. Um, oh, definitely. And if they get funny about it, just t take their name to reassure them that you're going to come back and buy it from them if you like it, because that's the only reason why they'd be funny about it. Yeah, most and most brands actually already have the little vials like behind the yeah. counter and are ready to go for a sample. So yeah. definitely sample high-end foundations if you can, because they're like 
30 pounds a pop. Yeah, exactly. And let the sales assistant help you, but don't feel pressured. Trust your own opinion. Oh, I have another tip. Sometimes if I go to a new counter of a makeup brand that I don't really know that well and I feel a bit overwhelmed, I ask them what their most popular products are. That's a good yeah, way to like that's see. always a good one is to ask them what their favourites are. Yeah. I like that. Mm. Really, Re? Re? I love Re. Re asked, which products... Which product... <laughs> okay. I can't talk. Really, re really asked, which product makes you have a near panic attack if you think you've lost it? Oh, these. This was it. Eyelash curlers. That's such a bizarre choice. The Japanesque Power Curl Eyelash Curlers. Yeah, because I remember that time. Everything. I remember that time I saw you and I was like, Anna, your lashes look so uncurled. Not yet. No one cares. <laughs> No, I feel like when I've got my lashes curled, I'm just a happier person. Oh, I really do. Enough. As long as you're happy. There's been some occasions where I've like temporarily lost my eyelash curler for like a day or so, and I just feel what happened? Gross. I just feel gross. Well, mine's just as shallow. Mine's not even a product. Mine's also like a tool. It's my GHDs. Because if I woke up and I went to straighten my hair and they'd exploded or been stolen, I'd I don't know what I'd do. I think you'd cry. I'd send. Rich out to buy me some new ones. I'd buy, I'd buy <laughs> yeah, a new pair would. even if they were like a thousand pounds because that's how much <laughs> oh I need them. Oh my god. Seriously. Yeah, no, I think you've got a tight relationship with your, with your GHDs. I understand. It's that morning hair. I can't do anything with that. I'd have to just wash it and have it curly. <laughs> Estee from Essie Button said, describe a recent makeup fail. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so earlier I was like, oh, I don't really know what to say for this question. And then when I was getting ready to film this video, I got my mascara. Like, normally you get mascara sometimes on your eyelid or something, or like up here, that's fine. Nose. On my cheek. Oh no. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> 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 like properly just on my cheek. Oh god, mine was, I haven't worn lip products for ages, because you guys know I've had sore lips. And then, do you remember last week, Wednesday, when we had like, we went out for the day with loads of meetings and yes. stuff. I wore Clinique Chubby Stick Intense in Grandest Gate Grape. Grandest Gate. <laughs> Grandest <laughs> grape. And I just kind of forgot I was wearing it and I was being really bad at reapplying it. And I kept, every time I checked myself in the mirror, I had like a dark thing around oh, my lip yeah. and like the middle had all gone because lip eating. Yeah. I wasn't very good. I feel like you need to be better at like reapplying with, because it's quite moisturising, it's not matte. Yeah, when something's got a bit of sheen to it. Yeah, so in that vlog of that day, I probably got lipstick <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> okay, the last question is from Summer. One thing you should get in boots or super jug? This is a good question because we get asked this a lot, I think. I like that question a lot. I instantly, I didn't really think about it too much, I went for this. I honestly think that the new Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvets are just beyond incredible. Is that what you're wearing now? No, I've got Nars Shiap on now, but I mean it's basically exactly the same thing. Mm. But in terms of liquid lipstick formula, this just beats everything else hands down. Really? I think it's awesome. It's just so matte but not drying, so long lasting. It actually took me about like six cotton pads and eye makeup remover to get this off my lips. It just lasts incredibly and it, it layers really nicely mm. and so many others kind of don't really do that. And this is the shade Pink Pong. It's adorable. It's really nice. I thought of one from Boots and one from Superdrug because you, you. you can get different things. Teacher's pet. Yeah, but I also forgot to bring them both with me <laughs> so I have nothing to show you guys. I'll try and put an image in if I can. My one from Superdrug is actually something you made me buy which is the NYC palette in oh, Best yeah. of Broadway which is like a really good dupe for the Chanel Christmas palette and I love it, is I really it? like the shades. Yeah, oh, really similar. Okay. Need that. Really like it. Um, I did a post on it, didn't you read it? Bitch. No, I did. I don't <laughs> remember <laughs> reading about the Chanel palette. And the one from Boots is Soap and Glory Solar Powder, which is so, like one of my favorite bronzers. I use that more than Nars Laguna these days because it's less orange. And I love it, I use it every day, it's amazing. It's okay. got like, it's like split down the middle and it's got two different shades and it's lovely. So that's that. So that's everything from our extra long beauty chat video and that was fun, these are always it's over too quickly. Yeah, I feel like that wasn't even That wasn't that extra long, long. <laughs> it, was probably, it was probably just average length, whoops. Um, anyway, if you haven't checked out Anna's channel, I'm sure you have, I'll put the link below to all her lovely videos. Thanks. And that's everything for now. It will be back on my channel next month. Oh yeah, Where? leave some more questions below so that Anna can check for her video. Fabulous. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was such like a weird awkward one. Like, like, oh, I can't explain, like I just kept doing the weird time, awkward things. The whole time I was like, I'm just gonna have the biggest sweat patches and I've finished. Oh look. Oh my God. <laughs> they're like roll, they're like roll sweat patches. Are you I would? I would have sweat patches if I wasn't wearing black.